Hey everybody, I'm here to go over uh, my summer get home bag, uh, 3V Posse sling bag. It's seven liters inside, has plenty of room for what I use it for. I also have the 3V Outlaw that's a either a 14 or a 15 liter sling bag. And uh, I use it mostly in the winter time or when it gets colder, just so I've got some extra room to put a jacket or something. Now, one of the things that I need to go over first before we do anything is you're gonna find that I don't have a bushcraft style knife in this bag. Um, although I do have one in every one of my vehicles in the glove box. I have a uh, more black bushcraft knife, um, which I don't think, it's not my favorite knife. It's not the one I use the most. However, it's very functional. It's very lightweight. It's very cheap uh, to buy, not in quality. And it holds a blade, holds an edge for a very long time. So um, that's why I've chosen it. You know, it would be hard for me to buy multiples of my other knives that are maybe several hundred dollars each where, you know, a Bushcraft Black is 60 bucks or give or take. Um, the other thing is too, you're going to find that I don't have a metal cup. Uh, I'm not planning on camping. This is to get me home. Um, there are some options I'll get into when we get into that. With that being said, in my, there's also not any food. And with that being said, inside of each one of my vehicles, I keep a Walmart 72 hour emergency kit that has those Datrix bars in it. It also has like some packages of water that I'd probably never use. And it's got a bunch of gear in it that I'd also probably never use, but I would, um, if something happened where I needed to get home, I could grab those Datrix bars out of there or grab the whole entire bag. It's in a little carry bag that's relatively easy to carry weighs more than I want to carry, maybe dump the water out and then take off with it. I really don't know, but you know, when I switch to the 14 liter bag, I can't put the Datrix bars in it or have a dedicated food. But you know, I live in a very rural and remote area. My driveway is over a mile long, 27 miles to the nearest big box store like Walmart. So generally, if anything's going to happen, about the only time I leave the homestead is when I go to those big box stores, which are in urban areas. And, uh, you know, it's just something to think about in this day and age. So, um, let me go ahead and get into what's in the contents. I'm going to start off by saying I'm a long distance hiker. I know how fast I can walk under various, hold on just a minute. Yourself? Yes, I'm always talking to myself. Anyways, I do carry a GPS with lithium batteries. The lithium batteries are good for, you know, extremely cold temperatures. Even here in the winter time, they don't go bad. They last for about three days on a single charge as long as it's in battery saver mode. A lot of people are probably going to say that, oh, well, you know, if something happens, the satellites might not work. Well, you know, it's going to have to be something pretty goddamn bad to happen for the satellites to not work. Therefore, um, I carry the GPS with batteries. And another reason why is let's say that I am at one of those stores, urban area, something bad happens, a riot breaks out, it's unsafe to walk the roads. As long as I got this GPS, I can do what's called a line of sight route where I basically type in my home that's already saved in here, gives me a straight line. I can then evaluate my path on the way home and it could shave off, you know, 10 miles. 29 road miles might turn into 18 miles off-road and I'd rather walk 18 miles than 29 miles, especially if there's uh, a safety issue involved where I could walk the 18 miles discreet and at my own leisure. And yeah, I'm gonna be walking through fields and woods, but you know, it's probably safer than, you know, being on a main road or an interstate or a highway. That's why I carry the GPS. Now my other kits, I also have a map. I actually teach map navigation courses uh, and various public ways. Uh, I don't really want to get into it, but you know, I, I teach navigation. I'm very well aware of how to use a map and compass. Um, just for my situation, GPS is better for me. On the side, I keep some mechanics gloves that are on a little teeny tiny lightweight carabiner. Uh, these are mostly for hand protection or if I got to run jump a fence or something like that. Also on the side, I have an Olight. I believe this is an M2R uh, light that's rechargeable. 
I keep the charging cable in here. I don't actually keep a dedicated USB charging backup battery. I'll get into that why in a minute. So that's pretty much everything on the exterior of the pack. We'll go ahead and start right here in the very front. I keep chapstick, obviously for chap lips, but it can also be used as a fire starter. I also keep an Adventure Medical Kits trauma kit. That is everything that's there. Going to the next compartment. I keep some night eyes uh, cordage. Night eyes. In my honest opinion, I've used it for years. Um, great for shelters. Great for if you needed to make traps or something like that. It's actually a little stiffer than paracord. Um, maybe not as strong as paracord, but it's a hell of a lot lighter. 50 pounds of this probably weighs 2 or 3 ounces. Or 50 feet of this weighs 2 or 3 ounces. Um, also in this, I have a Zippo lighter fuel canister. I have a Bic lighter. There is a little area in the back here where I keep some powdered drink mixes. I actually kind of want to keep this separated. I've got coffee, electrolytes, energy drink. I also have a four-way water key. And that's all of that pocket. Going to the top pocket here. This is more like a sunglass style pocket in the top, but I've got it crammed clear full of stuff. In here I keep a tourniquet. I keep a small travel size Advil or 50 tablet Advil bottle. It's got Advil, Tylenol, Aspirin, Hydroxycut, uh, Imodium AD in it. It's packed clear to the top, so try to keep the sound down somewhat. I keep some water pur purification tablets and I keep a Zippo lighter. The Zippo lighter I actually like better than the Bix for starting fires. They don't go out in the wind as easy. Uh, that's why I have the fuel canister and also I've got a in another pack I've got a Zippo uh, hand warmer. Going into the main compartment inside here is a little small zip up pouch where I keep a headlamp. It's an Olight H1R Nova. I keep the charging cable. And I also keep um, this is called Tinder Wick, Tindar Wick, made by Uberleben. It's for fire starting. Uh, I'll probably have a review on this coming up soon. That is all in that top pouch. I also keep a spare battery for the headlamp in here. Going down farther, I have a Sawyer Mini with the uh, straw tube and a bag which can be used to filter water or carry additional water. It can be strapped onto the pack. I keep a Helicontex military style poncho. 20 ounces of water that can also be attached to the Sawyer water filter. An Esbit stove with four Esbit tablets in it. A Shemog. A multi tool that has a ferro rod and a bellows in it. One of those wind-up solar emergency radios with AM FM also has a 2000 milliamp hour battery which can be used to charge the headlamp or the phone. There are actually a couple more pockets than the top of this. Um, on the front part where it zips up there is like hook and loop type material on the inside where you can attach, you know, other 
document or other items in there like a firearm holster or something to that effect then there's also a water bladder style pouch that's in there i don't have anything in it and finally on the back also with the same hook and loop between the back panel and the main compartment is a nine millimeter with two extra magazines so that pretty much completes that whole entire kit one of the things to talk about is now that it's winter time the only difference between this one and my um, early spring or late fall kit is that i usually have this puffy jacket on it's uh, 700 duck down made by marmot i have 245 mags a beanie and gloves i have an xds 45 instead of nine millimeter and i have the leatherman surge instead of the leatherman titanium charge tti that also has the fire starter and the bellows attached to it now you're going to ask why the 45 and the nine millimeter the reason is simple i uh, used to compete and shoot 45 and that's what i prefer to carry but not a lot of people do so if something happens where i've not wore a firearm that day or uh, some other thing has come up i run out of ammunition for whatever reason i've got a nine millimeter the nine millimeter is very popular and there's a chance that i could probably find ammunition somewhere for it readily on the way home compared to 45 that's why there's two different calipers so that's pretty much it uh, i'll have another one coming up for my actual winter gear so just this bag by itself is summertime uh, late spring early fall add the jacket with the gloves and beanie makes it for early spring late fall and then i got a totally different kit for use in winter time